It's happening. Waverly and Evansdale, Decora and West Union. The grand opening of Neighborhood Home. Now proudly serving Eastern Iowa with four locations. The best prices that Iowa has ever seen. The best service that Iowa has ever known. Iowa's best choice for furniture. Savings up to 70% off. $10,000 in free furniture. Visit now to win. Plus free prize giveaways. Lowest prices on furniture and mattresses. Join the celebration. Formerly Neighborhood Closet. Now Neighborhood Home. Four locations. Online at NeighborhoodHome.com. Welcome to an assignment with Anelia, the video blog that takes local perspective on events and issues. And this afternoon, I am at the home of a pilot who is making his own plane. Welcome to the program, Warren. Thanks Thank so you. much for talking to the Waverly paper. Yeah, tell me just a little bit about your project. Uh, that sounds a like a really intimidating project to put together a whole airplane. Well, it does take a while to do it. Uh, one of the things that these days make it much easier is a lot of airplanes can be built from kits. Uh, originally when people started home building aircraft they would build from plans or design their own aircraft and and build uh, from plans that they drew themselves uh, and the, the original motivation was very inexpensive flying. So but over the years why kit manufacturers have developed designs and developed uh, kits where a lot of the work is done for you before you ever start the, the airplane. Uh, this particular kit is uh, one of the latest examples of technology. It's all been designed using uh, computer uh, tools and uh, computer tools to make the many of the parts. So all the difficult bending is done for you. The, uh, many of the holes for rivets and so forth, they're pre-punched. This is your second plane as I understand it, is yes, that right? Yes, it is. Uh, this, this, what you're looking at here, is from the, this would be the baggage compartment, and this is the main spar uh, carry-through bulkhead, so the load from the wings is carried through this member right here, and the person will sit right here. That would be you, right? Yes. And, and a guest, if I have. I was going to say, would you have a passenger right yes. here? Yes. Normally, I would fly on the in the well, left on my seat. Side, and the I passenger see. would be in the right seat. I see. And uh, your feet will be here. And this is the firewall, and the engine will be out here. So, one question I have, and, and I and I think I suspect many of our viewers also would have that question. Uh, we always wonder about airplane safety and our airplane is safe to, to fly and most of us experience commercial aviation right um, and, 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 I, and I wonder um, are, are, you, are you sure it, it, that, that this would be a safe plane to, to fly once you're done with it? Well one of the criteria for me to select this particular design is the company that uh, makes this kit as well as some other models uh, has an excellent reputation and uh, the, uh, the planes have proven to be quite safe when built properly. And of course, uh, safety is of utmost concern to anybody that's building their own airplane, and so they strive to do the best possible workmanship that they can. But what, one would assume that, that when a commercial plane is ready to be launched, uh, there is some inspection going on, it has to meet certain standards, what, what sort of uh, inspection or what sort of uh, uh, clearance do you get that your plane is safe to fly? The Federal Aviation Administration or their designated airworthiness representatives always inspect our airplanes before they will issue an airworthiness certificate. And you cannot legally fly the airplane without having the airworthiness certificate. And so they do a, a very thorough inspection. It takes uh, several hours at least and if they find uh, flaws, they won't issue the airworthiness certificate or they will say, well, this should be corrected, but I'll go ahead and issue the airworthiness certificate expecting you to correct this flaw. Tell me a little bit about what, what is exciting to you about flying. How did you get, how did you develop that, that love? <laughs> From my uh, uncle. Uh, he took me for my first airplane ride. And as soon as we got off the ground, I was hooked. I knew that I just had to get a pilot's license. Really? You were a child and were thinking already you, you would do this on your well, own? Well, I was a teenager. I was a oh. freshman in high school at the time. 
most people are terrified when they go up, you know, lift their feet off the ground and look from above. It, it's quite a different perspective than the one we normally see when you walk down the street, right? True. Yeah, true. But the, not you. Uh, no? no, it doesn't bother me. Although, when you talk about getting on ladders and so forth, I don't like that very much, you know. So in that sense, I guess uh, you could say I have a little bit of vertigo there. But in an airplane, it never has bothered me. So uh, tell me about your first plane. How did you make it and why? Uh, I guess my main vo motivation is, ever since I was a child, I liked building things. And uh, the challenge of building an airplane just fascinated me. And I'm an engineer, and so, you know, love mechanical things. And so, uh, and also I thought, well, you know, I can get more performance for per dollar by putting a lot of my own sweat equity, as they call it, into the project. So it, that was very rewarding. One thing that strikes me is that, um, you know, th there is a huge leap of faith between the love of flying and, and then the love of actually making it on your own. You know, a lot of people love to fly, but they, they wouldn't even dream of, of, of putting something like this together. And you clearly are doing it for the second time, right? Yes. What, yes. What's different about this plane than your first one? Uh, this one has, uh, for one thing, my, my first airplane has a tail wheel. Uh, this airplane is what they call a tricycle gear. Uh, my first airplane uh, has aerobatic capability, so it can do rolls and loops. You know, it's capable of those kinds of things. This airplane will not be uh, aerobatic. I don't fly aerobatic, so I don't need that feature. Uh, this one will be lighter weight, and it'll be a little bit slower, but it'll have higher technology than my current airplane. It'll have what they call a glass cockpit, so the instruments are all uh, on screens and uh, the engine will be a full authority uh, digitally controlled engine. How much would it weigh when it's completed? Uh, the gross weight that's with gasoline and passengers maximum gross weight is uh, 1320 pounds the empty weight will be about 775. So um this would be your transportation vehicle? Is this, no, is this like your, your no, no, not at all. Your donkey on it's the, just in the for sky? Fun. It's strictly for fun. Strictly for fun. So, so uh, you would be flying it, right? Yes. You, you won't be just enjoying the, the, just the beauty of it. You would be flying it for sure, right? Oh yes, yes. Who would be, um, um, who would be your passenger? Would family members join and fly with you, or uh, is it difficult to find a seat next to you, or is there like a whole line of people waiting? Or is it kind of hard to convince people to join? Well, family members like to fly with me. Uh, my grandson loves flying with me, and uh, my son-in-law. How old is the boy? He's 15. He is 15, so he is very close to the age when you started. Yes, yes. Loving and the he, airplanes. He really loves it. Uh, and then occasionally, just pilot friends, uh, if I'm going someplace and they for whatever reason, don't want to fly themselves, or in some cases, um, you know, maybe they can't fly anymore, maybe they've lost their medical, uh, so, you know, I'll take people like that with me. Uh, and if people request rides, why, a lot of times, you know, sure, yeah, glad to give them a ride. And Young Eagles, the program that you've heard about. Yeah, tell me about that program, because I think that's the reason why I'm here. I find it very um, inspiring that, that you are you and a, a whole bunch of people like yourself are trying to help teach young people to fly. Well, it started with the National Experimental Aircraft Association in uh, 1992, I think it was. And uh, <clears throat> at that time, we were starting to see a decline in the number of pilots and people entering aviation. And so, uh, they generated this Young Eagle program to try and foster interest in aviation among young people. And it has been fairly successful at that. I can't give you specific numbers, but, uh, so, but the program has carried on and it's actually kind of expanded some over the years. Uh, for example, now, if a youngster gets a Young Eagle ride, 
they get a uh, certificate and they get a log book and the, an information sheet that uh, enables them to participate in a ground school free that's, uh, that's furnished uh, through the EAA. That's what will be happening in Waverly on Saturday. Yes. Are, are you going to be among the pilots giving I rides? can't. Uh, I'm going to be on vacation. So. You'll be on vacation, yeah. but otherwise you would be. Otherwise I'd be there, yes. And you told me that it takes a while to build an airplane like this one. How long would it take to build this one, do you think? Well, I've been working on it for three years, but I don't work on it like it's a job. You know, it's just a hobby. And so uh, when we're on vacation, and also I have other interests, uh, I volunteer building sets down at our community theater, and I volunteer at Habitat for Humanity. So I have a number of things, and since I already have an airplane that's flying, I, uh, that's there's no a, rush right, to get right. it in the air. But I expect to have this one done in another oh, two to three years, probably. So since you've been flying for a long time, can you tell me a story that that uh, stands out out of a the numerous stories you, I'm sure you can tell, uh, as any fisherman or any pilot can tell you all kinds of stories, but what's the one story that kind of encapsulates the joy of the experience? Oh, that's a tough question. I want to think about that for a minute. Hmm. You know, I think probably I get the most satisfaction from flying young eagles uh, because the youngsters, sometimes they're a little bit nervous mm -hmm. and so forth, but you get them up in the air and all of a sudden, wow, you know, the wow factor hits them. Not all of them, of course. Uh, some of them are kind of blase about it, but... Uh, Do you have some people that are really scared, like, oh, no, 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 oh, my one God. One time I had, uh, I had several youngsters in the airplane. Uh, I was in a club at the time and we had, I had, uh, I was, it was a four-passenger airplane. And so I had three youngsters. And the two in the back were, they were almost down on the floor. They wouldn't look out, you know, and they, you know, they were really tense. And I said, well, just peek out, you know, just peek out. I kind of coached them a little bit. And I said, you know, we're not going to fall to earth or thing. Just look out. And they did. And wow, and boy, you couldn't, you know, there were nose prints on the windows when I got down. They just loved it. So. So maybe that is the story that that, uh, yeah, that, could that be. captures it all. Yeah, that could Innocent be. minds scared at first, but then yeah. accepting it and enjoying it. Yeah. And sometimes I'll get a youngster that uh, has uh, flown a lot of flight simulator time or something like that, and so they have a good feel to begin with for what the controls are like, and I'll let them fly the airplane, and they get a big kick out of that too. Wow. That would be a special one for sure, right? Yeah. Have you ever been in a, in a snowstorm, in a situation where where you really have had to make some critical decisions? Or has your flying experience been pretty much flawless? I'm, I'm pretty much a fair weather pilot and I watch the weather quite closely. Uh, every once in a while, all of a sudden, you know how rapidly, especially when the humidity is like this, mm -hmm. uh, like it's been recently, uh, all of a sudden clouds can be forming around you. And you know, once or twice that's happened to me, but only briefly for a few seconds, and then I, you know, I get out of it and uh, get on the ground again as soon as I can. So, do you name your your uh, planes? Do you call them names? Like yeah, I call, I call the one I'm flying right now Yankee Doodle because it's red, white, and blue. Yankee Doodle. Okay, and what about this one? Uh, I haven't named it yet. I don't know what personality it's going to have yet. So, wow. What an incredible hobby, and, and for sure one that is fairly rare, I would say. Yeah, and even among pilots, you know, not every pilot has any interest whatever in building. Uh, it's, you know, the building is a, is a very positive thing for me as well as the flying, but I guess if I have a choice between the two, I'll take flying over building. <laughs> but, you know, it does take a certain amount of uh, stick to itiveness, tenacity, I guess, uh, to build an airplane. And some people, you know, it's just not for them. They'll, they'll, they love to fly, but they don't care a thing about building. And I'm sure a lot of attention to detail, right? Because you have to be oh, very absolutely. meticulous about it. Absolutely. You just yes. cannot do it broad strokes and, 
and leave the rest of it to And even the though elements. the plans are pretty thorough for this airplane, uh, there's still sometimes you have to, you know, you have to read and uh, sometimes I misinterpret things and I'll end up having to order a new part or two to replace something that I've messed up. You want to someone like yourself who is an expert and loves doing it can, can make a mistake. Oh, absolutely, you can, yeah. Thank you so much for talking to the Waverly Paper. I really appreciate the opportunity to see something that I would not otherwise see. Thank you. You're welcome.